Hey, it's Doug with Backcountry Pilgrim. Is there anything more contentious in the backpacking community than the camp chair? Other than, you know, ultralight, whether base weight matters, what counts as base weight, trekking poles, trekking pole straps, leave no trace, wild camping, off trail hiking, trail runners, made in China. Okay, never mind. Maybe it's not the most contentious thing, but the camp chair is an interesting piece of gear. Some people love them, some people swear them off, but I wanna show you a couple of new designs from Crazy Creek that you might wanna check out if you want something more comfortable to sit on in the backcountry. This is the Hex 2 Power Lounger, and this is the Air Cliner. Both of these are basically sit pads with a back that attaches with a couple of straps that allows you to turn what would otherwise just be a nice thick pad into a back chair. You've probably seen this basic design before, but each one of these has a slightly different take on the idea. The Power Lounger is a foam-filled pad that actually can roll out into about a three-quarter sleep pad. When used as a basic chair, you have a back that is 20 inches by 17 inches with a 16 by 17 sit pad. However, because this folds in half, it actually becomes a 33 by 17 three-quarter sleep pad. It's about six inches by six inches when rolled up, 21 inches long, and it weighs 27 and a half ounces. So what's cool about this chair is that when you're using it as a sit-up chair, you actually get a double foam layer for the bottom. That makes it very comfortable to sit in. However, if you want to unroll it, you can either get more foam protection for your legs or even use it as a three-quarter sleep pad so that this piece of gear is doing double duty. Even if this isn't your main sleep pad, it can increase the R value of your sleep system and keep your air mattress protected if you're cowboy camping or something like that. The idea behind the air cleaner is that you now have a seat that is like a blow-up sleep pad. It's made with much more dense material, so it's not a problem to just set it on the ground or a hard surface, but it provides a very cushy seat when you're outdoors. The air cleaner's back is about 19 by 17 inches, with the bottom coming in at 15 by 17. I was able to blow this chair up with four breaths, and it made a two inch thick air pad. When rolled up, the air cleaner was four and a half inches by three inches, and came in at 30.5 ounces. Rolled up, it is also 21 inches long. Obviously, both of these chairs are pieces of luxury gear, as is any camp chair. However, for those of us that want that little bit of extra comfort while we're out in the backcountry, I think these are both worthy contenders. As far as comfort, I was very impressed by the air cleaner. I mean, it's a two inch thick inflatable pad. How can that not be comfortable, right? The Hex Power Lounger didn't have the padding that the air cleaner did. However, it did provide sufficient protection between me and whatever was under me so that I was not uncomfortable. And I really liked the ability to just lay it all the way out and get pretty much all the way up to my knees covered by the chair so that I'm not sitting in dirt and grime. If you're looking for a camp chair that can do double duty, basically just give you a protective, cushy layer between you and the ground. This works very well. They are fairly lightweight when it comes to the less expensive type chairs that are out there. Now, to give a comparison, my cheapo camp chair runs 33 and a half ounces, so it is actually heavier than both of these. Of course, the benefit of this chair is that it sits me up off of the ground, which is often more comfortable. The big trade-off with either of these is that you are going to be sitting all the way on the ground. However, the ability to adjust the angle on these chairs and the very comfortable wraparound feeling that you get from the back support, I think, makes them worth it. If you've got the money, you can get fairly comfortable chairs that are lighter than these. However, I have not found any ultralight chair that comes close to the comfort. In fact, on a recent camping trip, my boys and I used these chairs to sit on the concrete picnic table provided by the campground. In the early morning, those things felt like slabs of ice and they weren't very comfortable even when they were warm. So it was really nice to have a cushy layer between our booties and that stone slab. Further, they worked great for just taking along on a quick day hike. If we found a spot we wanted to stop and whittle or just look around, we could just quickly unroll the chairs 
blow up the air cleaner if we were using it, click the two snaps, and boom, we were able to sit up straight without having to hold our backs up. One thing that is great about both of these chairs is that they have a very good strap system. The straps are not simply sewn right into the material, rather they are attached to wide webbing that connects to the material and makes them a lot more comfortable and a lot more stable. Further, the straps have a good buckle system which allows you to very quickly and easily change the angle of the chair so that you can kind of lay back or sit up perfectly straight. They come with carbon stays that hold their shape, so these are not cheaply built chairs. They're made with very good materials, and they just have the feel of a very well put together piece of gear. Now you are going to pay for that quality. The Crazy Creek Air Cleaner retails for $125, and the Hex Power Lounger 2.0 retails for $95. Please see the links in the description below if you are interested in purchasing either one. Using these links helps support the channel without costing you a penny. Now, I know for quite a bit more money, you can get a chair that only weighs about one pound. However, I think that because you have dual applications with the Power Lounger, and extreme comfort with the air cleaner, I do think that they are worthy of consideration for your loadout. So now that I have added these two models to the camp chair debate, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. If it was, would you mind giving the video a like and subscribe to Backcountry Pilgrim if you are into hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. Till next time, I'm Doug. Thanks for watching.